If you are working with a tight budget and you're looking for a gaming PC that can do gaming and streaming at the same time, you came to the right place. Today I'll show you my best recommendation on a PC build for you to start streaming and gaming at 1080p. I have to say that even though it's a budget option, it's still a little bit expensive and that's because of today's market. So if your budget is below this number, let me know in the comment section and I will help you out to find the right PC build for you. I'll explain why did I pick each component that I'm about to mention, so it's really important for you to keep watching this video until the end, because if you don't buy this gaming PC and maybe you want to buy another one, you have to keep some things in mind in order not to make any mistakes, so make sure to stay till the end of this video if you want a streaming PC build. With the first component and one of the most important components for a streaming PC, we have the CPU. For the CPU I picked the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X, the reason why I picked this is because because AMD has better CPUs for streaming than Nvidia, than Intel, so if you want to start streaming without any problems, I would recommend at least an AMD Ryzen 5 36 sandwich. I went with the 56 sandwich X because it's a much better option than the 36 sandwich and it's going to give us more commodity for us to stream our games. Now if you decide to buy an Intel CPU instead of this one, make sure that it has at least 6 cores and 12 threads. I think this is the baseline for streaming, so basically any Ryzen 5 series is going to get the job done. Now we are going to use the NBank encoder on OBS or Streamlabs, but anyway you still need a good CPU because you are still going to use the CPU for both streaming and gaming. So the Ryzen 5 56 Sandwich X is going to get the job done for us. Then for the CPU cooler, I picked a budget option, the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Black Edition. You can pick the RGB edition for just $6 of difference, but I went with a black one because I didn't want to make this PC build an RGB build. Now if you want more RGB, you can pick RGB components, but those are going to be more expensive. So I wanted to make this as budget as possible, and that's why I didn't pick the RGB version. Then for the motherboard, I went with the Gigabyte B550 of Aorus. This one has two M.2 slots of SSD and then the maximum memory speed is going to be 46 sandwich. It also has four memory slots and this is something great because in the future maybe you want to put 32 gigs of RAM and I will talk about that in a second. So this motherboard is going to get the job done at a price that is actually decent. Then for the RAM I went with a budget option, the Oloy 16 gigs of RAM kit. This one has two sticks of 8 gigs DDR4 of course, a 36 600 megahertz CL18 memory. Now, if you can pick CL16 memory, it's going to be better, but it's going to be like $20 more expensive, and I don't think it's worth the price difference. But if you have an AMD CPU, I will go at least with a 36 with RAM kit, and that's why I picked this one. And the price is actually insane 55 bucks for 16 gigs of RAM at 36 hundred megahertz. I think it's a great price. Now, for the storage, I went with one terabyte of SSD. I think one terabyte is the sweet spot for both gaming and streaming, considering that you're going to play games like GTA 5, Fortnite, Red Dead Redemption 2, I think 1TB of SSD is going to be a right option. You can go up from there if your budget allows, but I think 1TB is going to be a really good option for gaming and streaming. Now, another really important component, this is the most important for gaming, and one of the most important components for streaming is the GPU. Now, I decided to go with the RTX 3050, and you may ask, why did you pick AMD? Because you can get the RX 66 Sanguid and it's actually going to perform a little bit better at gaming but the reason why I decided to pick the RTX 3050 is because you get the Nvidia encoder and it's way better than the AMD encoder for streaming. It's really important that you pick an Nvidia graphics card for streaming mainly because the NVENC encoder is basically the best encoder I think and it's really optimized for streaming and that's why I picked the 3050. Another reason I picked this graphics card is because you get 8 gigs of VRAM and I would suggest at least 6 gigabytes of VRAM for streaming. Now, can you stream with 4 gigs of VRAM? Yes, you can, but you're going to feel way more comfortable streaming with at least 6 gigabytes of VRAM for both gaming and streaming. And even more considering that the modern games are using more and more VRAM as the time goes by. 
Another nice feature that you get on the RTX 3050 is that you get an entry level of ray tracing that you wouldn't get on the AMD graphics cards. So if you also want to do some entry level of ray tracing, you're going to be able to do that with the 3050 at a price of $500, which is actually decent considering today's market. Then for the case, I picked the Fantex Eclipse P360A. This one has a front mesh panel. The airflow overall is great. You also get two fans in the front, but you will need one more fan in the back. Don't worry about it you have the link to everything down below in the description and i picked the fantex case fan for the one in the back so don't worry about it because i got you covered then for the power supply i went with the corsair rmx 2018 650 80 plus gold power supply this one is going to get the job done since this pc build is going to use around 300 watts so a 650 watts power supply is going to be more than enough and it's going to be enough for future upgradeability so if you want to upgrade this pc down the line you're going to be able to upgrade it with no problem and before i end this video i want to give you guys two different options for two different budgets now if your budget is below 1200 dollars you can actually chip out on some components like the cpu cooler and the storage you can change the storage from one terabyte of ssd to 500 gigs of ssd or maybe two terabyte of hard drive now i recommend you going with 500 gigabytes of ssd since it's going to be much faster and it's not going to give you any bottlenecks but if you want more storage maybe you can go with two terabyte of hard drive i just don't recommend it and then you can go with the stock cpu cooler for the amd rise 5 5600x of course having another cooler is going to give you a much better cooling performance but actually the amd cooler is actually not that bad and since it's the ryzen 5 5600x it's not going to be terrible and you end up saving some money so the total price with these two downgrades is going to be 1160 dollars now if you even have a budget below this number let me know in the comment section and i will help you out if you want a pc build or maybe you want a private pc in the description you will have a bunch of private pcs that i recommend buying for every budget so if you want a private pc you can go to the description and see what probably pc i recommend but if you want a pc build let me know in the comment section your budget and i will help you out with your pc build now if you have a budget above this number let's say you have 1400 dollars i will actually change the cpu cooler to 240 millimeters all-in-one liquid cooler this is going to be way better for the cooling performance and another upgrade that i will make will be the storage because maybe one terabyte of ssd is not enough so i would go with two terabyte of ssd from samsung the 970 evo plus for 200 dollars i think it's actually a decent price for two terabyte of m.2 ssd so the total price would be 1400 dollars now if you even have more money to spend i would go with 32 gigs of ram instead of 16 gigs and this will allow you to have more tabs open while streaming and it's going to be better for multitasking overall for gaming it's not going to make any difference but for streaming and multitasking it's going to make a difference and it's going to make even a bigger difference if you do video editing and now if you even have more money for 1530 dollars i would upgrade the cpu to the ryzen 7 5800 x and and I think this is the perfect PC build on a medium end budget because $1535 is not a low budget anymore. I think it's a medium end budget and you get a Ryzen 7 5800X, a 240 all-in-one liquid cooler, 32 gigs of RAM at 3600 megahertz, 4 sticks of 8 gigs CL18 memory, you also get 2 terabyte of hard drive, the 3050, so if you're working with a medium-end budget, I would actually go with this PC, but if you're working with a tight budget, I would actually go with the first one I recommended. Don't worry if you're not working with a high-end budget, because the first one I recommended, I think is actually going to be great for streaming, especially for 1080p 60 frames per second, and it's going to run at above 144 frames per second on games like fortnite valorant so if you play those type of games the first pc is actually going to be way more than enough and you don't need anything more but if you have a higher budget you may want to get a better streaming and gaming pc overall and that's why i made different pcs for different budgets once again if your budget is not here let me know in the comment section and let me know what you want on a pc build because maybe you want rgb maybe you want the pc build to be a fully white customized pc build so let me know in the comment section what type of pc build you want if you want to PC build if you want a proper PC. Like I said before, you can check the description. And if you found this video helpful, leave a like and subscribe. And most importantly, hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload this type of content. And if you're watching this video and you don't understand the difference between a PC build and a probably PC, I have a whole video explaining the difference. It's really important for you to watch that video 
before actually making any decisions if you don't know the big differences between PC builds and private PCs. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for your support and I will see you on the next one.